In a statement that sent shockwaves through political circles, Janet Jackson has made a jaw-dropping claim about Vice President Kamala Harris's racial identity. During an interview with The Guardian, the iconic singer suggested that Harris isn't black, a claim that eerily mirrors a notorious comment from former President Donald Trump. The timing of this revelation, as the race for the 2024 election intensifies, has added fuel to an already contentious political atmosphere. With the stakes higher than ever, Jackson's remarks are already stirring debate about identity, heritage, and the narratives that shape public figures. Janet Jackson, at 58, is no stranger to controversy, but her latest statement about Kamala Harris has raised eyebrows for its audacity and timing. In a candid interview, Jackson addressed her views on America potentially having its first black female president, only to reveal a stunning belief that Harris isn't fully black. According to Jackson, Harris has a white father, a claim that has left many confused and questioning the source of her information. Jackson's comments bear striking resemblance to remarks made by Donald Trump, who has also questioned Harris's racial identity in the past. The fallout from both statements reveals a troubling intersection of celebrity, race, and politics in an already divisive electoral landscape. When asked about her thoughts on Kamala Harris, Jackson responded with a surprising take. Well, you know what they supposedly said? She's not black. That's what I heard. That she's Indian, Jackson stated, further adding, her father's white. That's what I was told. I mean, I haven't watched the news in a few days. I was told that they discovered her father was white. This assertion, however, is factually inaccurate. Harris, the daughter of an Indian mother and a Jamaican father, has long embraced her mixed heritage, proudly identifying as both black and Indian American. Harris's father, Donald J. Harris, is a black Jamaican, not a white man, and has had a distinguished career as an economics professor at Stanford University. While Janet Jackson's claim may seem like a simple misunderstanding or miscommunication, its implications run deep. The singer's comments quickly ignited comparisons to Donald Trump's remarks during his 2024 campaign, when he famously questioned Harris's racial identity. Trump, speaking at the National Association of Black Journalists Convention in Chicago in July, said, she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago, when she happened to turn black. The former president's comments sparked outrage, with many accusing him of promoting racial divisiveness and undermining Harris's identity for political gain. What's troubling about Jackson's statement is not just the inaccuracy but the context in which it was made. Coming from a prominent black artist whose family has faced its own scrutiny regarding racial identity, the claim has raised questions about how public figures navigate and understand race in America. Jackson's late brother, Michael Jackson, faced a similar public reckoning when his skin color changed over the course of his career, leading many to speculate whether he was bleaching his skin. Michael, however, always attributed his changing appearance to the skin condition vitiligo. This backdrop of public scrutiny on the Jackson family's racial identity makes Janet's comments about Harris all the more puzzling and controversial. At the same time, Trump's original remarks, which many saw as an attempt to sow confusion and doubt about Harris's black identity, were also met with backlash. Even his own supporters were reportedly annoyed that Trump focused on Harris's race rather than her policies. Yet, earlier this month, Trump doubled down on his controversial statements, telling reporters, I don't care what she is. I don't care. Whatever she wants to be is okay with me. His comments have continued to fuel a narrative that Harris's identity is somehow up for debate, despite her long history of publicly embracing both her Indian and black heritage. The timing of Jackson's remarks is particularly notable as the race between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris heats up ahead of the November 2024 election. Polls show that the contest is on a knife edge, and such statements have the potential to shape public perceptions in a tight race. With voters increasingly divided along racial and cultural lines, discussions about identity can have a powerful impact on how candidates are viewed by the electorate. Harris, who has broken multiple barriers as the first female, black, and South Asian vice president, faces ongoing scrutiny not only for her policies but also for her identity, a fact that has been exploited by opponents seeking to undermine her appeal to certain voter blocs.
As for Kamala Harris, she has yet to respond directly to Janet Jackson's comments. However, Harris has shown in the past that she is more than capable of handling such controversies with grace. Following Trump's initial remarks about her race, Harris brushed off the attack, accusing the former president of the same old show, the divisiveness and the disrespect. She added, the American people deserve better. Harris's refusal to engage in Trump's race-baiting tactics speaks to her strategy of rising above the fray, focusing instead on the issues that matter most to voters. But with Jackson now entering the conversation, it remains to be seen whether Harris will address the singer's controversial claim. As the 2024 election nears, it's clear that race, identity, and the public's understanding of both will continue to play a significant role in shaping the political landscape. Janet Jackson's surprising claim about Kamala Harris only adds fuel to an already fiery debate, one that has been stoked by figures like Donald Trump. While Harris has largely avoided engaging in these conversations, her opponents and critics seem eager to keep the focus on her racial background, rather than her policy positions or qualifications. For now, Harris's silence on the matter speaks volumes, leaving the American people to decide whether such claims will influence their vote. One thing is certain, as the race intensifies, the conversation around Kamala Harris's identity is far from over.